I know the wedding day is typical for the woman or for the women, so the whole entire wedding party are zombies. I'm just reading here, zombies. We get an opportunity to flex our walking dead muscles. Yeah. I don't know. You're supposed to. It's you're supposed to feel like the prettiest you've ever felt in your life, and then there's dead people everywhere. That doesn't really seem that romantic. I, I, <laughs> I, I don't know. I wouldn't I, have done it. You wouldn't. I don't know. I don't have my. This is married yet? Would you allow your future? Not married, and my future wife would probably kibosh that idea before <laughs> I could even get it out of my mouth. Now I've been to some fun weddings. I've seen some of my friends maybe throw an exotic. Not, not particularly popular. In my wedding circle, I'd say. Yeah, I would say so as well. Um, not, not Nantucket, right? No, no, not Nantucket. No walking dead in Nantucket. All right, NFL insider Field Yates is with us. I feel like we've been the walking dead over the last few months, just waiting for waiting. any headlines yes. when it comes to football. So we've got a few practices under our belt at training camp. I want to know, over this weekend, what's the storyline that kind of stood out to you the most? Well, DeAndre Hopkins had what no, I... No, that's what we do now. We look at their Twitters to see how he right. feels about it. Trust God, not them. Uh, all right, the Browns also hard at work this weekend. The big question here field is obviously who's going to win out this quarterback controversy what's your biggest takeaway because the first few days of camp we were hearing ooh, like this is McCown's to lose because RG3 doesn't look very good and that shifted over the weekend yeah sure Not a lot of time when it comes to MLB trade deadline. Isn't that right, Tony Collins? We are almost there. That is right, Miss. Happen to kind of help uh, be a little bit more inclusive at not just the college football level, but at the NFL level as well. Um, one, I think. how well you do absolutely you know and and um is that fair coach um uh, i guess i'm worried no one stays the same well i think south florida feels good with you at the helm you got that contract extension last year so congratulations on that the bulls open up their season september 3rd against toast and thank you so much coach willie taggart for thank you us. for having me on and go bulls <laughs> go bulls <laughs> Carrie, we're going to say talking about the Panthers, only what they're doing on the field. And they may have snuck up on some teams last season, but this year, not the case. Vegas has them squarely in their sights. They're easily favored to win the NFC South, and they're tied for the third best odds to win the conference behind the Pack and the Hawks. Kevin Nagandi has more from the Rick. Ken Niuma Tololo, welcome. Thank you for being here with us. Thanks for having me. Let's start with the obvious, Coach. How do you replace Keenan Reynolds? <laughs> what does that look like? Well, is he just watching those? Roger Staubach, we just mentioned him, in 1965. Now, he is making the switch to receiver for Baltimore, so tell the Ravens fans why you think he'll be able to do that successfully. Hendon Hall, a former BYU coach in. Um, and when his position opened up, I know that you did interview at BYU. You called that a long and agonizing two days, probably the hardest two days of my life. Why was that decision so yeah. tough? And yeah, you know, so you coached your sons before. Are you hard on them? Uh, yeah, but my, I coached all three of my kids. My daughter played lacrosse at Maryland. I could actually tell my son. You had a historic season last year, 11 and two. You returned 10 starters. What are the expectations for this year? Do you expect that you're going to be even better than you were? I mean, that's always 